Oh, hey there. I'm Ashley, and this is my friend Mia. In this lesson, we're going to learn about interjections. You ready? Let's go. Have you ever gotten really excited about something and shouted, hooray, or really surprised by something and said, wow, maybe you knew you were about to make a mistake and you said, uh-oh. All of these words are called interjections. Interjections are words we use to express emotion. Interjections that express strong emotion are followed with an exclamation point, and interjections that express mild emotion are followed by a comma. These kids look pleasantly surprised. They might be saying, whoa, look at that swimming pool. Since they're very excited, they use strong emotion, and our interjection, whoa, is followed by an exclamation point. The interjection is set apart from the sentence, and even though it doesn't seem like a complete sentence, it is expressing a complete thought. Whoa is expressing the thought, we are so excited. After the exclamation point, we need to use a capital letter to begin our next sentence. We would not be very excited if we said, oops, my friend dropped his ice cream. Notice that the interjection oops is followed by a comma because mild emotion is being expressed. Our interjection is part of the sentence, so we continue with a lowercase letter. Let's stop and review what we've learned so far. Interjections are words used to express emotion. Some interjections express strong emotion. Interjections that express strong emotion are followed by an exclamation point, and you have to use a capital letter to begin a new sentence after them. Some interjections express mild emotion. Those that express mild emotion are followed by a comma, so you are not beginning a new sentence after them. We use interjections all the time. If you figured out who had been hiding your socks, you might say, aha. If you happened upon a slithery reptile, you might say, eek. If you made a scientific discovery, you might shout, eureka. <laughs> of course, if you were disappointed because the rain interfered with your soccer game, you might say rats, the game was canceled. If you forgot to send your favorite Aunt Mary a birthday card, you might say, gee, I should have thought of that. A few interjections might be used to mean different things. Their meaning depends on the context. That is when and how you say them. For example, you might say, Aw, that's a cute puppy when you see a furry face like this one. Or you might say, Aw, that's the wrong answer if you were disappointed that you had missed a question. Interjections are almost always found at the beginning of a sentence. Take a look at the list of interjections and see if you can figure out where you think they belong. Which interjection should go before that hurt? What would you say before our team won? How about that scared me? And finally, this cake is good. Are you ready to see my answers? Here they are. Let's read the sentences together. Ouch, that hurt. Yay, our team won. Yikes, that scared me. Mmm, this cake is good. 
All of these sentences still make sense without the interjections, but the interjections add some emotion. Let's review what we've learned. Interjections are words used to express emotion. Sometimes they express strong emotion. That's when we use an exclamation point and begin a new sentence. Some interjections express mild emotion. For those interjections, we use a comma and just continue our sentence from there. Yay, you learned so much about interjections today, but oh, we've come to the end. Have fun using those interjections and remember to always be clever. Hey.